stopped again on me. Okay. What's wrong, baby? Why are you guys up? Up that spine. Okay, we're gonna do a couple leg raises here. Move to the next leg. And you know, you have those certain areas that you're focusing on. I'm really trying to focus on building muscle in this area and tightening up this area. Building muscle in this area too. Um, I have a lot of excess skin here because I have four C-sections. So, you want to incorporate different exercises that really work on the area that you're trying to build up or trim down. This is body sculpting. Okay, now we're going to incorporate some fire hydrant, and that's just lift her leg to the side, out to the side. Same thing, that's leg 10. Continue to breathe. Stretching that back out. Relax. Alright. And that is going to complete our little morning workout. Like I said, add in whatever it is that you feel that you need to build up or trim down. Incorporate the exercises that you see, you might see in somebody else's routine. Like I took the uh, animal push-ups from Riley Gaines. So, we're working together. This is all about self-love, self-care. What are you guys doing? Why are you not in your seats? Why? Get back in your seat, Sean. Alright, so... Oh, okay. So, um, yeah, that's fine. Multiplication chart. If you, if you can't see it from there, yes, you can get up and move. Um, so, yeah. Incorporate the things that you feel like you need improvement on. Um, 
you know, the areas that you want to trim, you want to mow, you want to scope, whatever, you can actually do specific exercises for that, okay? Um, planks are always good for full body, um, especially your core, tighten up your core, full body workout, just do different type of planks. I do that sometimes. Sometimes I don't feel like actually doing the movement and I just want to get something in. Then I'll do a one minute plank and um, maybe I do like the basic plank and a side, you know, side planks, the two side planks. Um, oh, and the uh, reverse, reverse plank, this one. And just hold it. Deep breaths. Just hold it. Hold it for as long as you can hold, you know. But self-care is a daily thing. It should be a daily thing. I know we don't always put in the time with ourselves because we're so busy taking care of everyone else, especially right now with this pandemic going on. It's a little bit wild out here, you know. It's a little bit crazy right now. So, forgive the way I look right now. <laughs> um, I'm tired, really. I just didn't really feel like doing anything. And I still got to go out today and make a couple runs. So, peace, y'all. Thank y'all. Love y'all. We're going to come back with another video, like I said, about feminine um, health, feminine products. It really is more sp um, Specific to um, women who suffer from fibroids. I want to talk about fibroids and my experience with fibroids. Then I also, I'm going to come back with a video of all the little DIY projects that we have been doing. Um, that's one right there. We took a poster um, and put it in a frame. Simple, you know what I mean? Find a frame from an old picture, nice picture, and a nice frame make you a picture okay so i just been trying to teach my babies different things that they can do in the house to keep busy stay crafty and just stay positive and elevated so that they can always think toward the future because i always want them to remember that they have a purpose here we all have a purpose here and if you may not know it right now you still um we use numerology and we diff use different um uh traditional um, ways of finding our purpose and just basically you just point out what you're good at your skills you just analyze really what are you good at are you good with using your hands with little intricate detailed things that's me um i'm just not good with technology so you know there's real, always room for improvement especially right now we should all be taking the time to improve ourselves i'm going back to school to um, well, I'm not saying that I'm officially going to enroll in school because I haven't found a school that actually has this um, field that I want to study. I want to study nutritional ther therapy, nutritional psychiatry. So um, I'm still searching for a school that I can actually go to to study this. So in the meantime, I'm doing my own studies. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing my own research. I'm digging in. And I'm actually I'm asking people to ask me for diagnosis so that I can actually pinpoint um, different foods for them. So that's what I'm asking for right now. And I'm just really trying to help my family and other people that's around me in my circle. And anybody that reach out to me online, if you're on Facebook or Instagram, um, and we're connected. I'm rarely on Twitter and I'm rarely on LinkedIn. I do have profiles there. But I'm rarely there. It's just very, you know, it's a lot. It's overwhelming to me to be on all these different social medias. And, you know, I am the zombie slayer, so my whole mission is to slay the zombies. So I cannot allow myself to turn into a zombie. So you don't see me on social medias 24-7 unless there's a point, a valid point, that I'm really, really trying to dig in and trying to spread the message about or something. 
and my babies is probably gone because I can actually <laughs> focus on that. I would never put Facebook or anything else before my fa my my family, YouTube or none of that, posting videos, none of that stuff is important. And that's why I try to teach my kids to value the relationships that's right here in your face instead of just, I mean, we can have relationships online, um, social, you know, friends that you have that might be across the country or whatever, may even be, you know, um, you know, uh, 5,000 miles away, but they friends, you're, you're a friend and you want to keep in contact with them on a day to day or whatever, you know, so there's nothing wrong with it, nothing at all, but you should always value those that's right there front and center in your face, you know, that's your main priority. So, um, thank y'all for tuning in. Peace, 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 love and compassion always. Spread that love, spread that joy. It's all in you. It's all over you. You feel it on your skin like goosebumps. You know that's what that that's what that is. That little prickly feeling. That's all your love. You just have to learn how to share it. A lot of us have this bottled up energy, and we just don't know how to expel it. A lot of us need to unblock those chakras. All right. So check out some of my other videos. We got some us. Um, unblocking of chakras yoga video um yeah um um excuse me excuse me excuse me sorry y'all um trying to think of some of the video titles that i actually have y'all just scroll through my youtube channel i got different videos there on different yoga so um yeah so break those cycles create those changes for the baby this is our time next level okay the next level of care is in effect self-love 2020 we can't rely on others to make our world or make our life better you know that you understand we have to create the life that we want all right so what does it take for your life to change create the lifestyle that you want lifestyle changes is all about you what it is that you desire all right so peace love and compassion love y'all thank y'all for checking in peace.